Hello and welcome to the next installment, part 3 of Subnautica Megabase. Um, basically I am just playing this game to make a Megabase and have a lot of fun. Um, I'll also be doing a playthrough, a uh, quick play guide, um, which will be cutting out a lot of uh, basic stuff a lot of other guides might have, and this one will be straight to the point. So, I am playing on survival, I've got a new game which I am 2 hours and 48 minutes in. I'm going to try to do everything as quick as possible, um, except for building the base, which will be creativity, uh, which will be time consuming, and which will be basically a lot of design. Um, I finished this game pre-release a few times. Uh, so far I have not finished it after its full release, but I do have at least a thousand hours in the game. Um, yeah, so basically we've started to build a base. Um, we've recently just been to land and we're now on our way home. So we'll be able to build those uh, garden beds and the uh, circular rooms, which is what we need. Once I get all the lockers uh, online, it should be a lot easier to play. Uh, this is a recording, not a live stream, so it's going to be a lot better quality. And that's about it. Um, nothing else to note, really. I've literally just come off the floating islands, I've scanned everything I need. Hopefully my fruit will last long enough to put in a pot. And uh... Let's go back home. Now well, hopefully nothing jumps out and tries to kill me. Um, I'm not near the Aurora. I uh, kind of am, so watch out for the right hand side. As far as I'm aware, the Leviathans are still in front and behind the ship. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say really. I've scanned as many parts as I can so far. I've visited a few of the pods. All in all, it's a pretty good run. Um, I have spent a fair bit of time looking for the moon pool, but I finally got it. Um, some key points from the first video. The only fish you need to get are the bladder fish, the blue looking bladder ones. Um, and they'll give you enough water to survive until you can make a water station. Aside from that, any other fish is fine for food. But once you go to the island, you are pretty much good to grow your own food, which regenerates. Okay, now we are back. I am probably going to dispose of that room. The moon pool. The main inventory full, not really. Good. We've got two of these lockers just sitting on the outside. Uh, can we fit one of you in there? Yes, we can. Now ideally we want to uh, pretty much get a lot of um, titanium and that's what we're going to use to upgrade the base. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, we've got two lockers here as well. Now, what we are going to do is deconstruct this entire area and we are going to reattach it somewhere else. Now this is probably going to happen a few times while I'm configuring the base which as you can see is going to be in the safest part of the area basically on this cliff which is 270 meters from the uh, shuttle. Uh, it's where the shallows meets the red and you follow this to the cave system. You can basically follow this to the whole game basically. That one path will leave you, lead you to all the resources, and it's basically on the corner of the back of the ship. Um, obviously the thermal vents just back here, which is what I'll be using once I get to that point. But for now... Oh really? War lockers? Oh, okay, fair enough. And I am lucky enough that this war locker doesn't actually have anything attached to it. Alright, there we go. That is what I like to see, the moon pool is gone. Now we can start making our main area. So what we want is a multi-purpose room and they cost 
six titanium to make. So let's first see how this looks. Okay, we're out of titanium already, that's fine. And that is fine, once I have a stasis rifle I can uh, move that along if I choose to. Alright, how does that look? So I am building on the wreckage, but that's fine, but it's gonna look alright. I can also build upwards and outwards, which is what I'm gonna do. Now, given the moon pool, um, and the things that will be docked, I'm probably gonna have an arm come out this way and out forward. Kind of like two little arms. Yeah. Alright, heaps of uh, time to experiment. This is going to be a mega base. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's go get some scrap and start making our corridors. We do have some lithium and some other gear hopefully we can use to reinforce our hull. And basically I'm just going to be stealing scrap metal at the moment. Copper is very important, we want copper as well. But for now, titanium is going to be our friend. Alright, we can probably fit one more. Watch out for these purple things, they will hurt you. There's that music. So relaxing, so fun. Literally just makes a game like this ambience is just relaxing like that pan happy drum thing okay that's it let's head back to home base this is what I uh, really regret about below zero didn't have any of this no quest markers no change of atmospheric music big monsters not in the game but the music I had a fire soundtrack for the jukebox though, so I'll give it that all right let's keep going so we need to break down our scrap into titanium. And then we will make our moon pool. Now we are going to need a lot of titanium. It's already getting dark. Okay, this will probably all be glass at some point. How does this look? That looks fine. Can we fit another thing here? We can. Beautiful. That's exactly what I want. Now let's see if we can do the same here. Yeah, beautiful. There we go. That means we can come outwards. Now we could have two moon pools because we are going to possibly need two moon pools. How do we test the whole integrity? I'm not really sure at this point. Uh, we do have lithium, so we are going to probably try to have a quick look. Nope, not lead. Pretty sure we have lithium somewhere. I could be wrong. Never mind. There we go, lithium. Okay. Let's reinforce a door. I'm probably going to be making two levels of this, by the way. Ah, uh, lockers. Okay, that's fair. Um, the lockers will be moved further inwards. Can we do that now? Let's have a look. Now seeing as this is basically what we're going straight into with this base, we will want to make the main room probably full of lockers. Uh, if we can still do this, let's have a look. Maybe not.
Yeah. It's one it worked before. I could be thinking about the submarine though, it's been that long. Alright, that's fine. So, let's make it pretty then. One. Two. Three. And the space. All right. Like I said, this might take a while as I can figure this, but uh, it's all a part of the creativity and the base building experience. Alright, that's fine. So we're going to have three on each side. Uh, basically they can have space, so we'll just kind of make it like there. Uh, there. Now this will be our basic building blocks. Uh, which will be titanium, copper, and I guess silver. So we will have our titanium. Copper. Our quartz. Because we have a lot of that, we'll store what we can for now. Okay, obviously take the titanium because we need that. Now we will do the same on this side. Leaving... Actually... Let's try to make it even, that way we can have some room for a fabricator and whatnot. remainder out of there. We will deconstruct that. Sorry for this being the boring part of the game. Alright. And there we have it. We will have a fairly big fabricator. We don't want to make it too uh, squishy. Um... No, I'm not sure if we want these permanently or just temporary. But we do need to plant our food soon. Or it may go off. I'm not actually sure if fruit still, still goes off like that. But uh, either way, let's get some titanium. Now that we have some lockers underway, uh, it'll be good to store everything. We don't have to uh, worry about leaving things behind. Once we have a submarine, we'll be a lot more efficient as well. Saw a water source where I come back. Nope, it's gone. Sorry. There he is. So we'll grab these. These are the bladder fish. These are the fish that provide everything we need. Okay, let's drink a bottle to filter water. Two bottles, why not? Now we have a space of three. Let's try to find a little bit more titanium. Two pieces. Alright, I think we're good. 
<sighs> it's also Black Fly uh, Friday Christmas special sales, or oh, Black Friday and Christmas special, uh, meaning that this is on sale on Nintendo Switch, as well as Below Zero, um, possibly also on Steam. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now uh, let's put these down quickly. This is a temporary food source. Mm, it's a bit out of place, but it's fine. Okay, silver. We seem to have a lot of silver. And gold, G-O-L-D, you'll probably get a lot of that, I don't want copper in there. Okay, and we do have a lot of organic materials that we need to process. Alright, let's uh, get these lockers. Rotten, rotten. Okay, rotten, uh, uh. It's good. Even if it's rotten, it's good. That is great. We are now growing what we need to eat and survive. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Burial Signal detail. location uploaded to PDA. Alright, so let's just store a few things for now. Um. Alright, we still need a lot more titanium. So let's store what we can. We got silver. We got gold. Now, that's a titanium ingot, so that'll go with the titanium as well. Copper. Now, we've got lead, we've got quartz, and we've got organic materials, so we're going to want some more organic storage. Okay, so let's get that scrap. There's heaps of it here. It's constantly getting dropped around. I swear I saw a... Uh, one of these guys spawn scrap in as well, so I don't know if that's new or if something that randomly happens thanks to a lucky coincidence, but it is what it is. Okay, more scrap. How much can we hold? One more. Yes, we do go through a lot of titanium. to separate my organics and my electronics. That may come later, but for now I'm just concentrating on building up the lockers. Um, gold, organics, because they are also a important vital component. Are we actually going to use a back wall? That's the next question. But before I test that out, I need to make sure I have enough titanium to do that. We have 12 minutes until the sunbeam gets shot out of the sky. I'm not sure if you can still actually save it in the full release of the game, but apparently some people were speedrunning the game to beat the uh, crash. I wish I could, but it's not really in my main game interest right now. Uh, yep, that back wall is not going to achieve anything. Okay. <coughs> Nothing at all. Okay. So on this level, anyway, 
we won't be having much. Um, so... We are going to relocate the fabricator to the direct middle. And then to the left and the right we will have our goodies. Okay, now let's uh lithium lead uh, and electronics. I called parts today. So we've got batteries, lubricant. Uh, we'll put the silicon there, we'll put the chip there. Lead. Uh, we've got titanium, we'll keep the titanium on us. Quartz. And we have a fish to cook up. Now we've got a few more pieces left, so let's just use them up. Um, we obviously will need ruby. And glass. I do sometimes mix the quartz in with the glass. Okay, let's remake that radio. Radio. On that panel, and we'll have the first aid kit on the other panel. Which takes some parts, some getting used to. Uh, we will use a power cell charger for our main ship, but not for now. Uh, what percentage is these on? 27, 20. Alright, so they all grow at their own rates, which is cool. Let's uh, grab the rest of this. Can we destroy these? No, we can't. Uh, pack. We can pick them up, though. Fortunately, they do, they do take up a fair bit of space. Okay, we'll get the organics out of the way. Uh, quartz, nope, but we do have lithium. A very important building block. And copper wire is definitely a part. Now, so are these. I'm going to get rid of them later, but for now I'll keep them in my inventory. Uh, the next goal is to get a uh, charger for the, um, god I left my seamoth all the way over there, for the batteries, and once we can get our batteries charging, uh, things will be a lot easier. Uh, we also can make a self-charging station. Okay, let's have a look around here before we head back. No point heading back with an empty inventory. Ooh, however, let's pick up that quest objective. No, let's not. We've got seven minutes left. Uh, so let's utilize those seven minutes to keep going on the base. And once we witness the crash, then we will uh, continue with the story. Uh, every time we go to a life pod, we can unlock secrets, find new parts to build, sometimes blueprints. Um, and that's all very, very handy. Now, even though we are just making a base, learning the lore and getting the uh, information is really fun. And obviously you need it to progress to get more base parts and uh, delve deeper, etc, etc. Oh, no. <laughs> Hypnosis fish, I forgot they added them. Do you not want to get stuck uh, on one of the uh, one of those guys when you're already low on health? 30 seconds. Alright. Let's get back. Oh, perfect. Bang. Oh, we're we gonna make it. Oxygen. Ha oh, ha, so close, so close. 
Let's do a save because I do not want to die. Alright, so let's uh, finish off our final attachments and then we will uh, connect the rest of the base parts. Should take us three minutes to do that, and then we can go to the Sunbeam place and have a look. Alright, now we can move our moon pool. I'm thinking about making here maybe. If it'll uh, snap on for us. Uh, maybe not. Let's have a look. So I think I'll just wait till I can actually make it. Oh, I can make it. I just need the uh, materials. Welcome aboard, Captain. So to make that, we need one lubricant and two titanium ingots. So we'll grab the two ingots, and we will go to parts, and we will grab a lubricant. That's simple. Okay, why aren't you attaching? That is a question. Uh, maybe it needs a platform. Let's have a look. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the keyboard. Cycle next, left bracket. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Just attaches like that. All right. I do have a few questions about how I want the moon pool though. Um, it's really not cooperating, is it? Might have to Google that why it's not flipping. Anyway, I'm gonna put some stuff in here and then we are gonna go have a look at the sunbeam very quickly. So we'll go to parts and we'll put our helmet there. Alright, let's go to these uh, rondo points. Now we should be able to get some food from the dry land. Two minutes till the sunbeam arrives. Um, I might just use my phone to find out how to rotate base parts. 
Because I am on a one-way course to the rendezvous point. Um, The sunbeam, not the aurora. Oh well. I'm not sure why that uh, island was still highlighted. I think there is a leviathan around this island as well somewhere. So without the stasis rifle, it's a bit of a meh. Transporter signature of trading vessel Sunbeam. Vessel is approaching planet's surface and initiating surface scanning procedures. Detecting massive power surge from anomalous contact. There it is. And there it is. Energy Shut down. Discharge detected. Vessel signature lost. So that is the sunbeam being destroyed by a laser gun on an island. An enormous laser gun. Now normally where those clouds are is where the islands are. There can be leviathans near the murky water as well. So you really gotta watch out for that. Alright. So we did miss the light show, but this is the island. imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Okay, we've got our calorie intake. Vital signs stabilizing. Done. Now when the sunbeam comes in we normally check out this tower first because it's here. And we normally watch a light show. That's the gun that shot the sunbeam down. None of this is overly important right now. We 
me do have a purple tablet, but we left it back at base. There is probably another one down here somewhere. A man in the cave system. But that's not our immediate concern. I'm only going to be streaming for about an hour. We can come back and do all this later. There we go, purple tablet. Alright. Let's go have a look-see. Now, once we get pricked, we will be quarantined. Just reading up on the moon, uh, moon pool placement. All right, I gave it a read. We'll see if that works. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performance yes, it is a very analysis. strong base. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Okay, this is a power cube. In early access, they didn't really do much. But they might be a source of power currently. That we can use. Maybe, maybe not. There were robotic spiders in here before. Can't seem to find any now. interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control This is where you want the pumping music to like blasting the boring parts Okay, nope Cool underwater thing for ships I mean I could make a base here, it's basically already a base, I just have to get my uh, cyclops in <laughs> Can I, can I, can I build? <gasps> Are you serious? Get out of here. All right. Possible mega base location, part two. Um. So basically there's three levels to this uh, with really cool alien artifact descriptions like a button that destroys the world Got a lot of tablets Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. <laughs> it's hilarious. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. I'm sure someone complained about how many of uh, those things they had to make. This is where we get jabbed. The 
control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. That's pretty much that, I think. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that again. So I do that again once I'm cured. We could jump out the moon pool, but I'm pretty sure that's where dangerous things lurk. So yeah. we will go back the way we came. Yeah, that shouldn't be so dangerous. Here we go, more cool things. Alien rifle. Alright, we have 20 minutes left to finish this off. Alright, let's try to orientate our moon pool so we can get that underway. I don't think there are any more fresh fruits or veggies here. There are some things inside the cave system that are very interesting. Uh, however, there is something we can come back for. Like gateways and whatnot. Okay, one second. Submerge us in there. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. This might be a problem. Another problem for Google, maybe. Alright, so I probably might need a bigger thing to pull it away with. There we go.
Mm. Oh, is that a warper? Possibly. Explained it already. Yeah, you ain't catching me. <laughs> All right. So apparently, if you hold on shift, you can orient it a different way. Now, if that's the case, maybe I should just build it here. Let's have a look. Oh wait, I can't build it there. Oh, it's tricky. It's being very tricky. Not terrible. The legs are all in. There's enough room for this. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, everything's giving me fruit. That's good. Got a new message coming through. Bit hard to see that from the back though, but it's alright. Now I will be adding a second level to the base, so I need to take that into account as well. And I guess that can be like a little office for me. Let's see how the legs stick out. Probably be where all the cool stuff happens. I can also send another bridge back this way and let that go out the roof. Uh, but given my resources and what I'm building, I'll probably just have a ladder in the middle where these trees are and I will bring these trees to this room, which will have my water and food. Om nom. 
Okay, parts go in here. Cook up that bladder fish for water. Alright, is there anything else I'm missing? What am I missing? Um, so I need to upgrade my own gear now, which means I need a modification station, but I don't have all the gear for that yet. Okay, lithium. Now before we answer the radio, we will do the stuff we forgot to do last time. be glass with the exception of the middle that won't be I like the light it's nice um, yeah power 10% so we will need to get more copper to make a lot more wire because we're gonna need a lot of that later Uh, the only thing I'm missing now is the modification station for the moon pool, which is titanium, computer chip, and copper wire. Computer chip, copper wire. Titanium, I'm pretty sure I put everything back, which is good. Okay. And we will put that on the far side, I think. Oh, maybe just here, actually. No, in the middle is better. Seamoth. Alright, well, the, we've established a basic starter base, so I guess that's everything for this video. next time we will make it even bigger we'll try to get everything made of glass we'll do a bit more of the quest and then we'll start expanding outwards and make it look cool thanks for watching